Senior Product Manager for Nissan Crossovers and SUVs. I'm very excited to be here this morning. Thank you for coming so early um, so you can hear about the, uh, the new 2017 Pathfinder. So as Phil mentioned, this was a significant refresh, one of the biggest ever for Nissan. And for Pathfinder, we have five key improvement points, and you can see the bullets underneath. And I'll take you through each one. And really, you guys are you guys know how this is done. You really have to drive it to experience it. Uh, because this is such a complete package, there's so much that'll come out uh, when you hear this, when you see the walk around, and when you drive the vehicle. So the key points are obviously the major styling and design upgrades, the new powertrain, the improved driving dynamics, so those, those two go hand in hand really well, and you'll experience it on the route. The enhanced user friendliness, as well as the advanced drive assistance technologies. So I'll take you through each one of these. So styling, styling of course, uh, the vehicle's been revealed, you see it right outside. Um, so Phil talked about the customer, who do we sell to, who's buying this vehicle, and of course as product planners, we, we listen to the voice of the customer, we listen to the voice of the media, the dealers, everybody, we take all those inputs and we plan the vehicle, we push the R&D, the styling departments to, uh, to land on a product. This, this is what the customer needs. And you saw, the, you saw um, who's buying the vehicle, families, uh, a little bit younger, younger children, uh, a little bit more female skier than the competition. And that's what they were, they were saying. When the vehicle came out in 2013, the start of the fourth generation, there was feedback. Let's, let's make Pathfinder, or please make Pathfinder a little bit more masculine, take it back to its roots. It's one of our most known nameplates. It's been around for a long time, a lot of awareness and recognition. Kind of what's, it's one of the key pioneers in the uh, SUV world. So we, we enhanced the styling significantly. So everything from the hood and forward is completely new. It's an all new hood. The front end has, of the hood has been raised about an inch. And it's actually been lowered a little bit in the back, so it's more of an upright hood. The, uh, the front end is more upright as well, with new, uh, new headlamps, new front fascia, new grill. Everything's new in the front. It really gives it that bold, masculine SUV presence that makes the Pathfinder appear more adventure ready. Um, new 18 and 20 inch wheels, it's a, a brand new design, very aggressive, very progressive. New tail lamp, new rear bumper, so the rear. Uh, to harmonize with the changes in the front, it kind of lifts up the Pathfinder a little bit, makes it look more, has more capability, more, uh, more clearance in the back, and uh, really gives it that uh, that look that the Pathfinder should have. So when you, when you see the design evolution from the outgoing to the new Pathfinder, you see the, uh, the vehicle on the right, handsome, stylish, but maybe a little bit too much crossover. You know, we, we heard from the customers, we actually heard from quite a few females. I love the Pathfinder, but can you make it more more masculine, more SUV? That's, what, that's why I bought this vehicle. It's, um, I, I love the Pathfinder nameplate. Uh, just, I love the styling that it had before. So that's what you see here. We listen to the voice of the key customers. We don't plan the vehicle for ourselves. We have our own personal wishes and desires for vehicles, but we're selling to the customer. We're not buying the vehicles. So that's what you see here. We're taking it from a little bit more of a sleek car-like styling to a more authentic, tough, and rugged direction. And you see the changes in the back as well. We have the new tail lamp. You see the squared off rear end of the vehicle, it's been lifted, there's been some enhancements uh, to the rear right here, from the blackout trim, that really kind of, I call it a butt lift, please don't quote me on that, but kind of brings up the vehicle a little bit. Um, so, <coughs> normally when you score off a vehicle, make it a little bit more upright, but that doesn't do very well in terms of aerodynamics, but this one, with some uh, creative engineering on both the radiator and the front spoiler, the coefficient of drag, the CD's been enhanced from what was already a pretty impressive 0.34 down to a 0.326. Uh, I'm no physics person or engineer, but uh, I know that uh, every movement in 0.01 CD takes quite a bit of effort, so this was a pretty significant achievement on the R&D side. Um, new power trim. So with all these stories, all of the changes that were done, there's a sort of a cohesive story and that's really about Pathfinder and making it venture ready and taking it back to uh, what it should be. So not only did we enhance the styling and make it more SUV, more aggressive, 
we added a new powertrain, and that's a new three and a half liter V6. Um, replaces the outboard. That was also three and a half liters, but this one's going to enhance direct injet, ABTC, mirror bolt coating for reduced friction. All of these technologies result in additional horsepower plus 24 from 260 to 284 and 19 pound feet of torque from 240 to 259. And as you drive today, you'll really experience that. There's that additional oomph and additional pickup when you're, going, whether you're, when you're taking off the line or the re-accelerating vehicle. That really, um, you've, got the, you've got this great new styling, you've got this great new engine. That are, those really uh, harmonize together to make a cohesive package. You see some of the numbers, there's been in improvements in zero to 60 time. There's been improvements in real acceleration response. So that these are really good, strong things to, uh, that we're happy with on the new vehicle. And on top of all that, the fuel economy, of course, very important, has been maintained. So a new vehicle, new styling, enhanced power, additional pickup acceleration, and we maintain the fuel economy now. As you know, in, in 2017, the EPA has kind of reformulated their testing procedures for fuel economy, and it's become more strict. And normally, we would have gone down on one MPG, but with the enhancements of the engine, the coefficient of drag, <coughs> we're able to retain that one, uh, that uh, 23 combined fuel economy, which results in, here, as you can see, amongst the competitive set, extremely competitive, class leaning on combined at 23. So this is front wheel drive V6 models. Um, and right there at the top on the, uh, the highway and the city MPG as well. So new styling, uh, more power, more acceleration performance, fuel economy leadership. That's a really cool story. It gets even better. Towing has been enhanced from 5,000 pounds standard up to 6,000 pounds. That's also class leading. So the, the whole capability, the ability of the vehicle gets better and better. Um, again, as Phil mentioned previously, we, this is a significant change. This is, uh, this is not just a rescan with a couple of uh, knickknacks added. There's uh, quite a bit that was put into this vehicle to really, really make it uh, capable and adventure ready. As you can see 6,000 pounds, it's a class leader. <coughs> Why is that important? When you look at the, the towing usage, the towing needs, and uh, these are families that are towing uh, <coughs> campers, trailers, uh, jet skis, boats, whatnot. They go to the lake, they're going camping. And um, when you're at the 5,000 or below towing group, of course, everything weighs a certain amount. There's a little bit more limited amount of things you can tow with the vehicle. So you've got a small boat, you've got a small trailer. But as your family grows, as your family needs to, as your family needs grow, you might want to upgrade to something a little bit bigger in terms of your weekend toy. And once you hit that above that 5,000 uh, pound toy, you're really going to be able to expand you know, what you can tow, whether it's a larger boat, a bigger trailer, or a, uh, a more substantial camper. So scout, excuse me, scout the towing you sent for both the front wheel drive and all wheel drive, or yes. the all wheel drive? Across the board, 6,000 pounds, every vehicle. You can, so it, it's it's there, it's ready to accommodate whatever need you have in terms of time. Very exciting for this vehicle. Third is improved drive dynamics. So it's gonna sound a little repetitive here, but you've got the styling, you've got the power from the engine, and of course, that would be that would be a little bit in, incomplete unless the, the other part of the vehicle is enhanced. And that's drive dynamics in terms of the ride, the handling, the overall um, steering as well. So in terms of body control and steering feel, there's a body pitch and stroke have been um, motion over road undulations, a decreased body motion on rough roads, the uh, more confident roll transition in the corners. Again, this, is, um, this isn't really PowerPoint friendly. We can talk about the details, but unless you get out there and drive it yourself, you, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, steering feel has been uh, improved. It's quicker by 11%. So. Um, again, going back to the customer, they're not, they're not out there, they're not drag racing, they're not at the track, there's no skid pad uh, claims on this vehicle. Uh, it's really about confidence, it's about safety, it's about when you're, whether you're driving in the city, in the parking lot, when you're on the freeway, on the mountain road, with your family, by yourself, whoever, when you're driving this vehicle, it's about confidence, about safety, it's about security. And so there's a bit of data here in terms of how the, uh, the body control was improved. Um, a lot of work, increasing the spring rates of the rear rebound spring, 25%. Uh, 
uh, stiffer springs, 11% in the front, 7% in the rear. 10% um, smaller roll motion. Again, these are a lot of numbers, a lot of data, but you know, please go out there, drive, experience these things. Improve ride quality with uh, shot strut uh, damping uh, changes as well. In terms of the steering, this is the 11% quicker steering that I mentioned earlier. Um, and another thing that was improved was the, uh, the compound of the tire. The same tires, 18-inch um, on the S through SLs, 20-inch uh, tires and wheels on the uh, Platinum as well. The compound of the tire was adjusted. Size is the same, but the, the compound was adjusted to accommodate a better handling, better ride uh, for the vehicle. Of course, uh, four-wheel drive is available on the vehicle. So we do have, um, I'll get into the grade walk at the end of the presentation. We have four grades available in the front wheel and four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive vehicles, we have the two-wheel, the auto mode, as well as the lock mode. So you can lock that vehicle in the four-wheel drive when <coughs> you need that additional traction and you need it to stay there. So when, uh, on the boat ramp, when you're taking off in the snow, etc., when you need that traction, it'll, uh, it'll remain there. So the fourth, uh, fourth story we have is the enhanced user friendliness. So you have the styling, the driving dynamics, the additional acceleration, and the user friendliness as well. As we mentioned before, the heavy family vehicle. Uh, this is a three row vehicle. It's not a emergency usage three row vehicle. Uh, it's an actual very usable, uh, spacious three row vehicle. So of course, you have to be able to get back to the third row. A lot of people might say, well, only kids go back there. Well, kids are people too and uh, they need to have the uh, clearance to get back there. So we do have the uh, very innovative uh, technologies in the second row. So this part, these are features and items that were already in the vehicle when it launched four years ago. So this is part of the Easy Flex seating system in the second row. So every part of the second row of seat, they, they slide 60-40 independently, they recline, they tilt forward, they fold flat. And you can see here on number three right there, the way the seat when you're trying to get into the, the third row here, it slides forward and the cushion pops up, so you have a significant amount of room to get back in there. Not just children, uh, adults, um, when they need to get back there, they, uh, they can slip into there very easily. Additionally, we do have what's called the latch and glide system, so if you've ever got a car seat in there, normally to get back there, you've got a big car seat and you can't really access it. There's a very innovative feature that allows this portion to tip forward and slide, so you can retain the car seat and have uh, enough room to get back to the third row. Super convenient, super easy. And you can see on the graph here the amount of opening to get to that third row. Significantly larger than the competitors, about 200% more room to get back into the third row. Uh, one of the really cool, innovative technologies we're introducing on Pathfinder for 17 is a motion-activated lift gate. When Barbara does a walk around or when you're driving the vehicle, you can experience this with the eye key on yourself, walk up to the, uh, the vehicle to the rear, just swing your foot under the bumper, and the sensors will activate and it'll open the lift gate up. Uh, automatically, it's really cool when you have a lot of things in your hands, you've got a baby, a dog, shopping bags, whatever it is, and you just can't get to the key fob in your pocket or hit the switch on the vehicle, just swing the foot and it will open up. The advanced drive assist display, this has been standard on the vehicle. It's constantly being updated. It's very clear, very bright, easy to use. Um, you can scroll through the different screens depending on what you need. So it's got all your information right in front of you. So you don't have to be distracted <coughs> looking for where the information is. With the addition of ICC and board emergency braking this year, of course, those, uh, those screens get integrated as well. Uh, all the IT system, we have Denise here. She's our connected service IT guru professional. So please direct all questions her way. Uh, we have a new IT system for Pathfinder. Um, we're trying to bring the latest here. It's got capacitive touch, icon based, pinch to zoom, swipe, everything that you're used to on your, uh, on your smartphones and tablets. Um, again, for the family on the go, it's very innovative, uh, intuitive, very easy to use. Um, with a lot of information, the icons are big and it's just right there um, to provide the information that you need when you need it. Well, with the new IT system, uh, um, a host of Nissan Connect uh, services are uh, available as well. SOS button, crash notification, you've got remote start by smartphone, a lot of uh, concierge services available for you. I think that's one of uh, Denise's things that you can ask her about. And finally, uh, the fifth point, the last point, uh, but certainly not the least, is the advanced drive assistance technologies. 
as we mentioned, again, we keep going back to the customer. What is the customer looking for? What are their priorities? What are they shopping for? Of course, safety is huge. Every, every vehicle is getting more, uh, more safe it's from a structure and a feature per, um, perspective. And this vehicle absolutely is uh, pursuing that as well. Vehicles are already five-star rated. That should carry over. But we're enhancing the vehicle with a host of safety features. Forward emergency braking is new for 17, as is forward collision warning. That supplements the already existing blind spot warning and rear cross traffic alert. If you're not as familiar with that one, on the rear cross traffic, it utilizes the same radars in the, the, the rear bumper. So it's looking left and right as you're backing up uh, out of your parking spot. If there's a car coming, it'll alert you immediately and let you know that something that you can't see yet is coming. The class exclusive around view monitor with moving object detection. The AVM has been there since launch. The uh, moving object detection is new for, um, for 17. So for those of you familiar with AVM, you see the uh, four zones here. With the moving object detection, if something comes into one of the zones, whether it's a person, a dog, a shop, somebody pushing a shopping cart, uh, it will highlight that section and give you an audible warning, letting you know that, hey, there's something in there, you should stop immediately. <coughs> Back here. Uh, intelligent cruise control, another one of the cool safety feature or uh, convenience features that have been added for 17. So a significant amount of improvements, uh, the styling, the engine, the ride handling, steering improvements, the com comfort, convenience, as well as the safety features. A complete package, really bringing Pathfinder again back to where it needs to be as the adventure ready uh, SUV in the Nissan lineup. A uh, little bit small here, but in terms of the grade walk, we retain our four grade strategy from the S, SVS, L, and Platinum. Now the S has been enhanced with quite a bit of features. Um, standard color screen IT system with backup camera, USB, uh, Bluetooth. Um, the engine, the 6,000 pound towing capacity, all standard on the vehicle. All of the suspension enhancements, everything standard on the vehicle. And again, you can get everything in two-wheel or four-wheel drive. We have a number of packages available off of each of the grades. And in terms of pricing, uh, so the vehicle should be hitting dealerships at the early part of September. Pricing is not yet announced, but of course will be available closer to that time. And the target starting price is to begin uh, with an MSRP under $30,000.